Is that a Twi'lek corpse? Oh my lord. Oh no, those are Volkers over there, I think. We better be careful. What's this Twi'lek corpse doing here? He had two med packs on him. Oh man. Alright, let's uh let's stay away from there, Karth. Looks kinda like a dead end. Oh yeah, Volker guards. Um Let's go this way, Karth. Let's go this way. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ragebox here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kotar. So in the last episode, we explored that apartment complex over there, and let me tell you guys, it was uh, it was quite the little mini dungeon. It definitely was. We got some treasure, we got some armor, we got some med packs, credits, all kinds of good stuff in there, and we killed a lot of Volkers. So, I mean, this gang war is a lot more serious than I thought. A hidden Beck scout. You need to get inside. The Black Volkers are gunning down everyone they find on the streets. You should go to Javiar's Cantina. You'll be safe there. Javiar's Cantina? Right, there's a cantina down here. Wait a second, is this it? Hey, buddy. This is the cantina. Hey, hey, move out of the way, buddy. This is the cantina, Karth. Let's check it out. Hello? Okay, I mean... <laughs> Judging by the blaster holes in the wall, this might not be too friendly of a place. But apparently that Hidden Beck Scout said we'd be safe in here, so... I guess we're checking out the cantina in this episode, boys. Oora! How you doing, Mr. Twi'lek guy? Oh yeah. Chubakaha, Chopa, Chawachwish, Yunku, Jodo, Jibunga Rantan. Ka chikun ita haldonga, yikinkuno ba mulera chikun. Oh, really? Imo podona rundi haldonga ku hunkabe. So this guy sells Pazak cards. Bolster my deck, huh? I mean, that sounds pretty good. I always want to get my deck bolstered up. I mean, who doesn't? Especially Karth back there, man. He's really got to get his deck bolstered up. But yeah, I only got like the basic cards, so this could be pretty good. But, well, who are you? What was, what was that dialect? He's like, Gina, want to be the bubble. Uh, show me what you got for sale, my man. I'm definitely interested in buying some Pazak cards. So he's got plus one, minus ones. Wait, so these cards act as a plus and a minus together? Okay, well then these gotta be the most valuable cards in the whole game. Just one of them costs 200 credits alone. Good lord. I'm gonna get the plus three, minus three card. We can just about afford that. A plus six, minus six, that might come in handy, actually. And guys, every playthrough, I get the minus four. For some reason, the minus four card is always like my lucky card, guys. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it always has been, so I gotta get it. It's only 25 credits, and that's gonna do it for now. Thanks, buddy. Okay, cool, cool. I kinda wanna try out my new deck. Gilrude? Wait a minute, Gilrude. Where have I heard this name before? Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelroot. Are you a Pazak player by chance? What? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. Wait, that's right! Niklos told me about this guy. He said he got banned for hustling guards. Oh my god. Wait, well, this guy might be a cheater then. I don't know if I want to verse him. Can I ask you some questions, uh, Gelrun? If you want to ask questions, go talk to Zax in the bounty office. He knows everything that's happening on Taurus. I'm just here to play for Zack. So do you want to play or not? All right, you know what? Bounty office, talking to Zax, that sounds like a good idea. But first, I guess we'll duel this guy. Let's see how he plays. Excellent. My funds were getting somewhat low. <laughs> all right, we got the new cards all added in. Let's see how it goes. And I only got the minus four, but 
I'm telling you guys, it's my lucky card. Every time I have it in my hand, I never lose. A few moments later. Yo, what? What? How the fuck? You gotta be kidding me. You played well in our last match, but luck just wasn't with you. You wanna play again? I'm sure you'll do better this time. You little... What did... You're a filthy cheater, Gelrude. How dare you accuse me of cheating? It's not my fault you lost. I'm just a good player with a strong deck. Maybe you just need more practice. Or maybe you need to buy some better cards. Go talk to Uriah over there. He can sell you some cards to improve your deck. Unless you want to play again right now. I already talked to Uriah, man. God dang it. Oh my god, dude. I should have saved beforehand, card. Alright, we saved it up. I'm ready for you now, Gelrude, you sack of crap. Back again. Well, ever since I was banned from the upper cantina, I've been desperate to find a good game of Bazak. You wanna play? Now, let's get his side of the story. So, so why exactly were you banned, buddy? A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. Uh-huh. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. What? That's no justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated, and I was banned from the upper cantina. Since then, I've been desperate to find a match. Know what it is, guys? I think Gelrude here has also mastered the art of save scumming. <laughs> That's all it is, dude. He's just been saved scumming like me. <laughs> we better be careful then. We might get our asses banned. All right, I'm getting my 40 credits back. Excellent. Oh, this time we got the plus six, minus six, and the plus three, minus three. Okay. Oh, no. Come on. 10 to 10. 14. We could use the plus six, but I want to save that. 19. Let's stand. This is a bit of a deja vu here. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're doing good. You're mine, Gelrude. You're mine. An eight. Fourteen. He's okay. I'll stand at nineteen, huh, buddy? Oh, I see an opening. One more. One more, and we got him. Oh, fifteen. Let's go. Come on. Get lucky. Get lucky. Oh, what up? You son of a bitch, Gelrude! I can't believe that, dude. He, he matched a 20 when I matched a 20 off of just drawing? Like, how does that happen? Oh, no. Okay, okay. Oh. He's not gonna come back on me. He's not coming back on me. I just look over and see him slipping cards out of his sleeve. I'm like, hey! Oh, this might be bad. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah! You did well in our last match, but I think your luck may be about to run out. So do you want to play again? You know, I'm, I'm just happy I got my 40 credits back. Maybe I'll duel you some other time, Gelrude, you, you cheater. Okay, let's see what else is around here. Whoa, what the hell? What's going on? Go away. Kalonorpa what? Three. Holy shit! I wouldn't have believed that if I just didn't say it! This guy's a regular old cowboy! Hey look, buddy. Go away. What? Uh-oh. Uh, I saw you mop up those black Volkers, dude. Nice work! One. Oh no, he's doing it to us, guys! <laughs> he's counting at us! I'm not looking for a fight, man. I just want to talk. You know, that was, that was pretty good. I don't like them Volkers neither, you know? They're, they're a bunch of assholes. 
to... Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Car's like, you know, maybe we should just leave this guy alone. All right, but hold up. I don't know who this guy thinks he is, okay? You better finish counting quick, buddy. Three. Now you fucked up! Oh, shit. Here we go. Let's see just how tough this Calo Nord really is. Take this! <laughs> Um, hold up! We just hit this guy point blank in the chest, and he's not even damaged in the slightest! Sorry, I hit him with the power blast, Karth. We can do this. Wait, what? Oh my god, he one shot Karth! I'm getting the frick out of here! Oh god, no, no, no. Cut the tape, cut the tape! I see your point. I see. I see your point, Callow. Yeah, I, I really see your point now. So uh, I'm gonna be going. <laughs> smart. It's <laughs> smart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm smart, guys. You see that? I'm a smart, smart person. Oh. <laughs> Yo, wait. Callow didn't even loot these guys. Med pack. Okay. So apparently that Callow guy is a big bad bounty hunter that we should probably watch out for. He's definitely got the receipts to prove it. So we got killings going on right in the middle of the cantina, you know, nobody batting an eye. This is truly Star Wars, guys, truly. Oh my goodness. Let's just take a little break, Karth. After all that, I, I, I gotta take a break. So, so, what's up with you? Yes, what's on your mind? You know, Karth, now that we're chilling here, having a couple drinks in the Lower City Cantina, I want to discuss something with you. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? Now, I want to talk about these issues you seem to have with me, all right? I've been I've been thinking about it. I'd like to know now, Karth, if we have a problem. I like you, buddy, I really do, but our last conversation didn't sit too well with me, so I gotta know. Do, do we got a problem, Karth? Hmm? Hmm? Do, we, do we got a problem, buddy? I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Damn straight! Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Now, actually, it was Karth that saved my butt more than a couple times, <laughs> honestly, in this playthrough. Not built that way, huh? That sounds like an excuse, Karth. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. I'm, well, I just won't happen again, that's all. Okay, so, so when it all comes down to it, it seems like Karth just has major trust issues. Well, of course it won't happen again if you never trust anyone. Look, I'm not trying to insult you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. Uh, I guess he's right, but... And how am I supposed to know that you won't betray me? Me? Yeah, exactly, dude. Why, why not you? Accusing other people is a pretty good cover for a traitor. Traitor! I don't remember ever saying anything about a traitor. All I mean is that if you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. Bastila? We haven't even found Bastila yet, Carl. What are you talking about? Well, I wouldn't want to live like that. Not all of us have the luxury of a choice. I'm conditioned this way. Sorry. Well, that settles that then, I guess. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Good lord. Despite being impressed with your abilities, Garth is still not willing to fully open up to you. Maybe if you give him some time, he'll finally learn to trust you. Yeah, yeah, I guess, but good lord, Karth, you got some issues, dude. What's going on over here? Holden. Now, wait a minute, where have I heard that name before? Huh? What? Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. What? Look at them waggle those head tails. What? I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? Now, I'm not really interested in your love life, buddy. I don't like the tone of your voice. I work for Davik Kang. I'm used to people treating me with respect. Oh, boo-hoo. You work for Davik? I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. Good lord, so this guy's basically a smuggler. You're pretty damn open about what you do. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. 
You think Davik could get me off Terrace, buddy? Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. So it seems like these Sith codes and this Ebonhawk ship may be the key to getting the hell off of this planet. I'll be going. Fine by me. That means I get to go back to enjoying the dancing girls. Yeah, you have fun with that, buddy. Hey, dancing girls. Anyway, God, are these a couple of Volkers just having a drink? Better not be. Better not be those damn Volkers. I don't, I don't like any of these gangs down here, boys. I don't even know if I'm too fond about these Becks. Gangs are just no good, guys. I'm very against tribalism. I don't like it one bit. What's going on over here? Is it? Is that a Wookie? I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Oh damn, she talking smack. Who you calling little girl, Chuba face? Chuba face. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here. I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Oh, so she's with the Wookiee. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. <laughs> oh, they're bitching out now. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Yeah, you greenies. He's like, hey, I'm actually a yellow uh, shade, so... Yeah, nobody wants to fuck with a Wookiee. The, the mere sight of one is usually enough to scare off people. So, uh, that was pretty cool. How are you, uh, Mission? Wait, her name is Mission? That's interesting. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Oh, they're nice. Okay. A Twi'lek speaking basic. Now that's unusual. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalba. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... I say we asked her some questions. It seems like she would know the Lower City better than anyone. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Oh, damn. Yeah, tell me about that guy. I saw him just kill three dudes in like a second with a flash grenade, and it, it was crazy, man. It's, oh, he almost killed me, too. Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Dude, he literally was killing people for just talking to him. I mean, <laughs> at least he gives them a three second, like, count though before he does it. I mean, he could just instantly shoot them for talking to him. So how does a Wookiee and a Twi'lek street urchin end up as best friends anyway? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Hmm, I can imagine. Alright, well tell me about the Lower City gangs. I already met quite a few of them, but more info couldn't hurt. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. Really? The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. 
Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a hidden back. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Oh, really? The plot thickens. So that's probably why the Volkers are waging war against the Bex and acting so crazy. Well, tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Of course. Again, guys, it just seems like uh, everything's pointing toward this ship. But you see, we need the codes, too. It's very complicated. I don't know. But right now, we just got to focus on finding Basila. Alrighty then, little Twitter girl. I appreciate the help, but I think I'm going to get going. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this poor walkie. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Oh, we got some experience. All right. So that's interesting that they hang out at the Beck base. I guess the Becks just aren't that bad. But again, to me, I mean, a gang's a gang, guys. I don't, I just don't agree with it. But at any rate, guys, I think I'm going to cut it here. There's quite a bit, I think, left to do here in the Lower City Cantina, so we'll check out more of it in the next episode. And I also want to talk to Zax in the bounty office. Maybe we can collect on some bounties, you know? Be a bounty hunter ourselves, just like Kalo Nord, dude. That sounds like it might be fun and an easy way to earn credits, right, Karth? You got it. Hell yeah. Again, guys, thanks so much for joining me on another episode of Let's Play Kotar. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as always, for more outstanding Let's Plays. And until the next one, me and Karth will catch you later.